All right, picture this. It's 2007. The Counter-Strike franchise is at its peak. Esports tournaments are growing, mapping and modding community is booming, servers are full of people. Just look at these player numbers at the top on Steam. But there's a problem, and it's right in front of us. Do you see it? There are too many CS games. I know, three isn't a lot, but they are borderline the same, so the issue is the players in each of them hate each other because they think their CS is better than the others. Here's what it looks like. I have the most refined gameplay. <coughs> well, I have the better graphics. Hey guys, what's up? I have the... uh... a single player campaign? So can this issue be solved? Is there a compromise to all this chaos? There is, but it doesn't involve you just yet. It's too early. Once upon a time in 2006, pro players Aldrax Mendoza and Alex... Alex... Garfield came together with an idea, making a CS game that's the best of both worlds. The reason seems to be a concern with the franchise's future as an eSport, probably stemming from one getting older and the other not getting any significant updates. I've been playing Counter-Strike for many years now. The idea that competitive CS might one day be an actual professional sport has always been there in the back of my mind, but only recently has that somewhat fantastic concept started to become more of a reality. I know that someday soon, our niche of competitive gaming is going to explode, and many of our dreams of things like professional players earning big bucks and matches being broadcast on TV are going to be realized. I had another realization, however, and that was that things don't happen by themselves. Aldrax Mendoza Honestly, this does seem like pretty valid reasoning, but at the same time I do think it sounds far-fetched to make a mod that pleases the eSport scene and helps push it forward. Nonetheless, they assembled the team, started working on the project, and in 2007, the public was introduced to the solution of all our problems. Counter-Strike Pro Mod and what is it like? First impressions, UI looks very clean, quite similar to what we know. HUD is- oops, wait, <laughs> give me a second, um, ah, much better. HUD is alright, love the nade indication, and buy menu might need some work. They made ammo purchasable again, maybe that should have been left in the past. In-game graphics overall look like CS Source, but simplified and 1.6ified. Most of our beloved maps are present, with a makeover more closely resembling their 1.6 aesthetics. Lighting and textures are crisp and easy to discern players from them, while still retaining that Source engine fidelity and detail. I really like it, and honestly, this might be a disagreeable take, but to me, this is kinda how CS Source should have looked like. Weapon models are straight from Seosaurus from a slightly different FOV, and the nades retain physics but look like the old ones. Gameplay-wise, the best way to describe it is it's close to 1.6 with a bit of CSS DNA. The movement is precise, shooting and hit rage feel punchy with appropriate staggering animations, and yes, wall banging is present, but not as broken. I know some people might not be into this since it's optimized for competitive play, but look at this logo and tell me this wasn't the idea from the start! Overall, it does exactly what it sets out to do, create a CS game that combines the best aspects of previous installments and the result is pretty good for a beta. Oh yeah, this is the last version, beta 1.10 from 2012. Looking at archives from their website, it looks like the devs were taking it seriously, providing updates and giving the community a forum to voice opinions, report bugs, and make suggestions. There's even an old YouTube channel showcasing their progress. It looked really promising, and the community was there for it, but whether you remember this project or not, it was eventually cancelled and fell into obscurity, despite all the ambitions towards making it happen. The website is long gone, and the team behind it has moved moved on. So, why did it fail? Well, initially there was skepticism with the competitively focused direction, some even thought it would be dead on arrival, but as time went on, the need for a new CS game was becoming apparent, so this project gave people hope. Unfortunately, creating a new game is a daunting task, even if there is a complete game to work off from. Bundled with the fact this project was funded entirely by what time or money the team could put into it, which probably wasn't a lot, considering updates were slow and that 
that didn't bode well with consumer interest. Oh, and uh, once CSGO became a thing, that was the final nail in the coffin. Ironically, it may be true, the reason for the failure of CS Pro Mod is the direction. Even if there are industry veterans and pro players working on this project, catering to one side deviates from what Counter-Strike is for so many other people. Esports is not entirely what defines CS, the community does, and if you ignore it to focus on the big bucks on the big screen, failure is inevitable. But how far did they make it? What else does this final version contain? There are a few A maps, AK Colt being a classic remake, the rest to my knowledge are new. DE Season and DE Light are present, for those that don't know, these were popular in ESCA. The rest are of course Dust 2, Nuke, Inferno, Train, and Aztec with layouts straight from 1.6. Except Aztec has a few additions to help with uh, balance issues, some tunnels here and there. Deathmatch can be played free-for-all style on any map by changing the mode from the menu. If you want to try Pro Mode out yourself, it's on ModDB, but be aware. Not all weapons are implemented, just the main ones and prices aren't displayed in the main menu. If you want bots, use console commands, also their navigation only works in Deathmatch. If you want to play regular defuse, uh, they shoot but don't move at all. And don't forget, it's a beta. Bugs will be encountered. Perhaps if the entire outlook wasn't so focused on a specific community, things might have been different. I'm sure most of you know at this point about a similar project in the works, Classic Offensive. Now this looks like a proper remake, except it isn't just that. I could sit here and gawk at it all day, but it's not a finished product yet, so I want to savor it for whenever it releases. I know it might be kinda tiring waiting so many years for it to happen, is Zool too much of a perfectionist, or is this just the reality of taking on a project like this. So many people have contributed who believe in the same idea. I think what will eventually come out is something that provides an experience anyone can find value in. Of course, it's not going to please everyone, and the prospect of the release not garnering enough interest is concerning. But if anything, it will prove a point. Never forget this franchise's roots. I do believe Classic Offensive will achieve what CS Pro Mod once set out to do, but even bigger and better. Will this actually be the case once it's out? Time will tell. Now, we just have to wait and hope for the best. So don't forget. Late is just for a little while, suck is forever, right? Thanks, GFAT. But yeah, I am aware that a big issue with development for CSGO is support Valve isn't giving them. So that's sort of a setback, but I pray things get sorted out one way or another. I'm sure nobody would want this project to get canned after so many years of hard work. Well, anyway, there's a lump on my hand. I am very hesitant to get treated. It could be something bad, or maybe I'm just too nervous to find out what it is exactly.